So we want to uh, find out the commutator of dx power n uh, with the dx power m, where uh, the operate the operator d is basically uh, uh, d by dx, and uh, it is in uh, square integral space, and uh, we also have the commutator of d with x is equal to i. This one we will see how it is identity operator. So uh, basically, we want to find out uh, commutator of d x power n with uh, d x power m. So let us see how we can uh, get this. So first, uh, the given uh, that uh, d x is equal to identity operators. So how is this actually happening? Because see, this is an operator. This because it is in the square integral space, so acting on some functions. Okay, so so d x commutator is basically d x minus x d. So it has to act on some operator, right? And uh, so you can first term you can see so d is d by d x. So d by d x x f of x minus x d by dx f of x. So first term, uh, if you uh, uh, expand it, uh, what you get is x df by dx plus d by dx of x is 1. So f of x minus x d by dx f of x. You can see that this term and this term cancel out. So you get f of x. So that is the reason you can you see that the d the commutator d x acting on some function f of x you are getting f of x itself. So the commutator of d with x is identity operator. Okay. So now uh, let us get on to the uh, our problem that is. Uh, d x raised to n d x raised to m this is what we want to find out obviously this has to act on some function so we have to make use of the identity d x equal to i there are different ways you can do you can actually uh, expand it expand this quantity and uh, you can uh, um, uh, find out this answer or use this identity to get the answer. So let us use this identity to get the answer. So any operator you know that A, B commutator with C, D is equal to A, B commutator with C, D plus A, C, D commutator with B. Again, you can expand it the second one so a c because that order you have to keep c soon uh, just before this commutator so a c uh, b d plus a b c commutator of b with the c d so this what when you expand the first one you get similarly second one if you expand so what you are going to get is C A D the plus sign A D B plus A C D B. So you have to use uh, this identity uh, while doing the uh, this problem. Okay. So so let us do this problem. d x power n d x power m so this is your a operator whatever we done earlier this is if we compare okay this is c and this is d okay just for uh, comparison with the earlier uh, identity so this you can write it as d x power n with d x power m plus d 
dx power m with x power n. Now you expand the second one as we did it earlier. So d d the left hand side. So x power n x power m plus d x n d x power m. This is what you get when you expand the first one. Plus d d No, there is not 2d because there is only 1d you have to take it to left hand side. So d d with x power m plus d d so there is an x power n let us not miss the term so there is x power n here so this is x power n d d x power m x power n x power n so uh, you have d x is equal to identity operator also you have any any x power n commutes with x power m because this is not a differential operator so if you act on any function f of x this is basically xn xm f of x minus x power m x power n f of x so this is x power m plus n f of x minus x power m plus n f of x. so this is equal to zero so you can use that identity here also any operator commutes with itself so that is this one this will goes to zero and this term also will goes to zero without any problem okay so those two terms will goes to zero so then you get so this term is zero and uh, this term is also zero because this is because the d commutes with itself and this is because x power n and x power m are functions they are not derivative operators so because then you they commute it each other so then the second term you have d x power n d x power m plus the third term that is d d x power m x power n so we want to do these two uh, uh, identities these two commutators you want to find out these two commutators so let us first find out because uh, dx is equal to i so xd is basically the minus of that minus identity operator so because if you find this you can easily find out this so let us find out the second one so the commutator of d with x power m i want to find out so let us go one by one okay so first d with x d with x you know that it is zero so let us know uh, identity operator so let us do d with x square what is d with x square so this again i can expand it so x d with x plus d with x x so d with x is i so i can write it as 2x identity operator similarly d with s cube you can find out so already d x square you know so you have to just expand it twice so this is d this is x d with x square i am uh, expanding x cube as s x and s square so x square plus then d with x x square so d with s square is 2x i into x that means 2x square i plus d with x is i so x square so this is 3x square identity operator so in general you can write that d x power n is equal to so we are now supposed to find out x power m so dx power m is equal to 
m x power m minus 1 okay so and so this is the one of the terms you have to find out dx power m that will be found now x power n d is x power n d is nothing but minus d x power n so this is again equal to minus n into x power n minus 1 okay so you substitute so these two relations that is x power n d which is equal to minus n x power n minus 1. You substitute this one and this one a and b in equation uh, 1. So you get minus d first is x power n d so that is minus n x power n minus 1 that is what this term then s power m plus second term is d ds power m ds power m is m dx power m minus 1 so dx power m minus 1 uh, there is i guess there is a small uh, mistake here so dx power m this is x power n so this is x power n okay so let us this x power n is coming from this okay so second so one is x power n other one is s power n this is x power n and s power n so there is no issue okay so you get uh, d x power m minus 1 there is an m actually here also there is an n so let me write that also then x power n so this is basically equal to now uh, d is basically d by dx so this let me write this as this as minus n d by dx x power m plus n minus 1 plus m d by dx x power m plus n minus 1 so i can take d by dx x power m plus n minus 1 as common so i get m minus n see basically the left hand side is d x power n d x power m so this is the answer this one you have to act on f of x then you can find out the answer okay so this is the answer for this particular question